Hey, Peyton, so what were you seeing out there that allowed you to get so comfortable so quickly? Um, honestly, it was just trying to get in the flow of things. Uh, you know, obviously, it's a, it's a little bit of a, a different game than the college level, and this is my first time, so a little bit of jitters. And um, so just really just trying to get a feel out there, and that was pretty much it. Back to John for follow-up. Um, also, when you, when you see Marcus Smart out there in the first preseason game, your first taste of NBA action, taking charges and diving and, and doing all of the stuff that he's doing, what, what, what does that do for you as a rookie uh, on the court watching him do all that? It's an example of uh, how we should play and how, how you win games. Uh, you need guys like that. You need, you know, Marcus Smart, he's a dog, and he does what it takes. So um, he's a perfect leader for that. Tom Westerholm. Hey, Peyton. Uh, Marcus has kind of talked about how impressed he's been with you um, early on in the uh, preseason. I was just curious uh, what the conversations have been like, you know, between you two and, and what he might have told you so far. Uh, honestly, it's, it's just, um, you know, learning little things and uh, how to different d defensive things, offensive things, uh, just trying to pick up everything they, uh, they say, because obviously they've been so successful. Uh, their this team has been so successful, so I'm trying to jump in and and help this team and learn right away. Matt Vator. Peyton, um, you had Jeff Teague out there with you for at, at points. How much was his sort of presence and poise kind of a steadying thing for you guys as you're first getting your uh, your feet wet? Uh, it's it's big. I mean, you know, Jeff knows how to run the uh, run the team. Um, obviously he's been doing this a long time and, and been really successful at it. So it's a perfect uh, person for me to like follow and learn things from and uh, just seeing how he's poised and he makes plays out there. It's a perfect, perfect example. Mark D'Amico. Hey Peyton, I'm sure it's been quite the crash course for you over the, over the past couple of weeks, trying to take all of this in, but Tonight was the first time you were able to play in a game in, in more than nine months. Uh, just getting back on the court in, in a game environment, how, how much did that put your body and your mind maybe at ease uh, as compared to maybe where you were feeling over the last couple of weeks in training camp? Uh, a lot. I mean, you know, this is what we play the game for is to play games. And uh, this is what all the work is, is for. So for me, I was just excited to get out here. And it's been like since the, maybe the beginning of March since I played a game. So get the jitters out, get running up and down the floor and just uh, kind of get a feeling for things again. So it was it was awesome to be back out here and it, it, there's nothing like a real game setting. Bob Strong. Hey, Peyton, how are you? Good, good, how are you? And good, nice game. Hey, Thanks. Peyton, uh, uh, offensively and defensively, on uh, two questions on offense. Coach said there was a, uh, he, he would call out sets and you guys maybe weren't picking up so easily. And then on defense, how different uh, is the challenge? I mean, that's really the, the most important, uh, the biggest challenge for um, rookies coming in. Thank you, Brandon. Um, so what's your question? What's the biggest what? challenge? Yeah, defensively. And then on offense, were there problems? Did you easy picking up the, the plays and the actions that coach was calling out? Uh, you know, defensively, it's just, you know, the game's different. So we have different calls, uh, different how we're trying to – schemes of how we're trying to play defense uh, are in our system. So it's just picking that up right away and, and learning different, you know, tricks to, to, to get around screens, to make the shots tougher and all that. So um, offensively, it, it's just going to take a little time for guys to, to, like, you know, for it to come second nature uh, when they call the play and get into it. Um, you know, we've only been practicing for, like, a week. so our flow will just get better and better and guys will start to pick it up quicker.